Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're doing peach smoked pork loin. Now this is a great dish to serve along with your turkey or for those people that don't like turkey, put this pork loin on them. They're gonna love it. I'm gonna get it seasoned, get it in some peach smoke on my brand new How to Barbecue Right drum. At the end, I'm gonna serve it with the homemade cranberry sauce. I know you're gonna like that. Let's get to cooking. So the first thing I did to this pork loin was get some flavor on the inside of it. And I did that by giving an overnight brine. I started by dropping the pork loin down in my meat bag, poured in some of my bird brine, about a cup, and then added some peach apple juice and a little bit of water just to top it off. Put it in the refrigerator and let it soak for about 10 hours overnight. That's long enough. And this pork loin has really absorbed a lot of that flavor from the brine. I mean, the look of the meat's kind of changed a little bit. It's got all those flavors in it now. I know it's gonna be juicy. I took it out of that brine and just kind of let it air dry for a little bit on a cooling rack and that's where we are right now. now. You'll also notice I didn't trim this thing very much at all. I wanted to leave that fat cap on it because as I cook this pork loin that fat's going to render down. It's going to drip on the coals inside my drum and it's going to give me some amazing flavor. Now I'm ready to get some seasoning on the outside of the pork loin. First I'm going to start with a little binder and you could use just about whatever you want. Today I've got some Dijon mustard. So I'm just gonna squeeze a light layer on. If you wanted to rub it down with some peanut oil or pretty much any kind of fat that you wanted to, it would be really good on this pork loin. We're gonna start on the bottom side or the fat side, what I'm calling it, because this is going down first. I'm just rubbing the mustard all around. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Get some mustard on all sides before I get going. Get the messy part out of the way. Now we're going to the dry stuff. I'm going first with a light coat of my V Barbecue Rub. It's not really gonna give it a barbecue flavor because I'm gonna keep it really light, but it is gonna give me some wonderful color and a little bit of sweetness to go with that Dijon. I'm gonna make sure you get the ends just a little bit. We'll flip it over and do the other side as well. I can still see some of the meat through there. That's exactly how I want it to be. Paprika, the chilies and that rub's gonna melt down, give the outside a wonderful color. And what's gonna be the star of the show are these herbs and these coarse seasonings that I'm putting on next. And here I've got some turbinado sugar, some kosher salt, and some coarse ground black pepper. But I've got some minced garlic flakes, some minced onion flakes, some rosemary and thyme leaves. So it's real herby, but it has a nice coarse texture and it's gonna go great on this pork. And I want a good heavy coat of this stuff. Fat side looks good. Let's flip it over. Kinda get the side a little. We don't want to miss an inch of it. Get the ends. Now we're talking. And this is going to give us that crust, that roasted pork loin style, but we're doing it all in that peach smoke, so we're going to get some wonderful flavor from the wood. Now that looks fantastic. It's going to be nice and crusty. The garlic, the onion, the herbs are going to cook down. We're ready to fire up the pit. So today is my inaugural cook on my brand new How to Barbecue Right Edition Gateway Drum. I'm gonna start it up with some Royal Oak Lump Charcoal with a couple tumbleweeds. Drop those down into the pit, get the coals good and hot. Now when they're ashed over a little bit, we've got a good hot spot in them, that's when you wanna get the lid on and start checking those vents back. I need them a quarter inch open on each intake, and then on the half, we're gonna run it about 50%, let some air flow through there. When the temperature comes up to about 275, that's when I'm gonna add the peach wood. We'll be ready to put the pork loin on. So after about 30 minutes, the gateway came right up to temp. I'm wanting to hold it right about 275 for cooking this pork loin today. We got some nice peach wood rolling and it smells fantastic. I did do a light spray of vegetable oil right on the rack to make sure nothing sticks to it. We're just gonna set it right across, dead middle, kind of bunch it up a little bit. It's gonna cook exactly how we place it on here. I want it to look like a nice roasted piece of pork loin. Anytime you're cooking with a drum, you wanna work quick because that oxygen's gonna make that fire stoke up. So we're gonna get the lid right back on, make sure our vents are set just where we want them. We'll be back to check on it in just a few minutes. All right, we've been on about 20 minutes. Already starting to see a little color. We still got some of that good peach wood rolling. This is where I wanna watch the internal. No, it's not gonna take a whole lot of time to cook this pork loin. So watching the internal temperature is important. So I'm gonna stick my Thermalworks dot about center mass in it. I've got it set to 135 and we're gonna take it to about 138 total. Let it carry over. Let's go ahead and get the lid back on. You just wanna watch those internals. We're still sitting at 70 degrees. We got a long way to go on this cook, but the Thermalworks dot will help us watch it. So we're creeping up right on 140 degrees internal on the pork loin, and that's exactly the range I want it to be. You can see it got that nice crust on the outside of it. Still got some good coals. 
We used up every bit of that peach wood. It's gonna be absorbed into the pork loin. I do always like to verify my internal. We're right there, the dots tell me it's 142 right here. We're real close to the probe. That's perfect, that's done for pork loin. We're gonna get this pork loin off the pit before my fire gets out of hand. But look how beautiful crusted that peach smoked pork loin is. Now it needs to rest for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take it to the cutting board. So I let the pork loin just sit here and hang out and rest and calm down once I took it off the pit. It's been about 15 minutes. It's ready to cut up now. But before I do, I wanted to show you what I'm serving this with today. I made a homemade cranberry sauce. If you ever try this, you'll never buy the stuff in the can again. All I started with was some orange juice and some honey. You reduce it down just a few minutes and throw some fresh cranberries in. Set a timer for 15 minutes, no more, no less. Those cranberries will pop and when you take it off the heat, it gels up. It's sweet, it's tart, and it blows the stuff in the can out of the water. You'll never buy that again. But let's cut this pork loin up. That's what everybody's waiting on. Let's move some of this rosemary around. I just wanted to garnish it up to where it was pretty. But now it's time for some business. I'm gonna get my slicing knife out. And I'm just gonna start on one end of it. You can cut it as thick or as thin as you want. For dinner portions, I go a little thick, a little bit thicker than a brisket slice. But that is beautiful. We've got that peach smoke ring over it. It's juicy. It's cooked all the way through. 140 degrees is right where you want to take that and let it rest. The brine did its job. That looks fantastic. And a pork loin like this will feed a lot of people. I'm gonna pull me one out here. It's moist. The little bit of fat that was on bottom has rendered. And you can just see that juice inside the pork loin. Let's tear it, it tears right in half. You know it's tender. Mm. oh my goodness. The onions, the garlics, the herbs on top, savory. Got a little smoky flavor from that peach wood. That's awesome. Mm. So I'm gonna turn this around here. We'll fan it out a little bit. That looks beautiful. Move that cut piece up there. And you know I gotta try some with the cranberry sauce. You can serve it on top of it. You can drizzle it down it. We'll put a little piece on that. Let's see what it's like with the cranberry. Mm. That's Thanksgiving right there. Sweet, tart, you can taste the honey. You can taste the citrus in it, the orange. The cranberries are awesome. That's a fantastic sauce. I'm telling y'all that crusted peach smoked pork loin with the cranberry sauce, that's a Thanksgiving dinner right now. You don't even need the turkey for serving this. Not only does it look good when you slice this pork loin, put it on a platter and garnish it up, you can still see all the moisture that's in each slice. The herbs, the garlic, the onion that's on top of it makes that crust. That's what tastes so good. That's where all your flavor is, but the brine soaks into the meat. And that gives you just another layer of goodness and that's what makes it so special. Hey y'all, thanks for checking us out today here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shell and I do a podcast every week where we're gonna talk about this pork loin recipe, all the other delicious stuff we're cooking. Y'all give that a listen to on all the podcast outlets. We'll see y'all next time. All right, Shell, you have to put that camera down and come try this. Tell me how juicy that is right there. Mm, that melts in your mouth. Tender, juicy. Savory, that hits all the notes right there, one bite. Mm. Happy Thanksgiving.